In today's video, I'm going to keep working on my site. The site a few weeks ago, I was putting a new template on. Uh, I need to keep working on that, so I thought that would be a great topic for today. Partly also uh, because this Saturday, I'm going to be speaking in one of the sessions for Joomla and beyond in the 24-hour session, uh, the 24-hour virtual Joomla conference that was supposed to take place in Portugal, but is now taking place online because of the pandemic. So uh, instead of putting all my thinking powers into a topic for today, because I still need to work on that presentation, I thought I'll just keep working on my site and we will hang out together as we often do here on the channel. All right, let me just adjust this camera, something I forgot to do. If you're watching live, please say hello in chat. Give the video a like. So help other people to find it. And let's see here. Yes, sir. I think that we are live and everything is happening here. If you are watching, just to let me know that, oh, I need to pause this on my computer here too. All right. What on earth is going on here? All right. Let's change screens here. As usual. Oh, look at that. Head on over to basicjoomla.com. Sign up for the newsletter and you'll be automatically entered into the monthly giveaway for some great Joomla prizes and maybe more if I get my act together and add more. All uh, right, here we are at my site, the cybersalt.org site. This is one of my sites that has been very neglected over the years. Uh, this site is actually uh, originally from 1998. So of course it wasn't always a Joomla site. It wasn't always a Mambo site before that. It started out as a Dreamweaver site. So over the years I've converted it from HTML pages to Joomla pages and just kept going along with different iterations. So uh, this site, I've run it through Mambo, Joomla 1, Joomla 1.5, Joomla 2.5, Joomla 3, and hopefully soon we'll be looking at what to do to bring it up to Joomla 4. So there's uh, it's been a lot of work put in on this site. Uh, I used to make this, uh, I used to send out a newsletter every day to my subscribers where I would drive them to the site here to see a funny picture or sermon illustration or a joke or all kinds of things that I would add to each day um, back in the heyday of newsletters. I think newsletters are still important to have, but um, so consequently I ended up with, uh, hello, uh, Bretzi, hello, Bjorn. Uh, consequently, I ended up with quite a few of uh, a lot of pages on this site, 15 or 16,000 pages. So it's always a great site for me to test things on and to especially updating. So I always try to, I always update my own sites first. That way, if I, if something's broken or something is missed, I don't mess up my client sites. All right. So here we are logged into the back end of the site and I'm going to go to extensions templates. I'm going to right click and open in a new tab. The new template I was working on is this JD Stylo, which is um, from Asteroid, from JoomDev. And we see over here that I have assigned it to some pages. Let's see what status that's at. So I'm going to click here and look at assignments. And this is, so this is uh, um, advanced template manager from regular labs and I have assigned the template to totally Tim Joomla and Cybersalt Shaker. So let's go to the site here and we'll go to blogs, totally Tim. Let's go to Cybersalt Shaker. Now, when we were last doing this and looking at this, you, you will remember possibly that uh, in the category blog, the, the blog layout, or blog category, no, category blog layout, uh, I had half, half this space was being taken up by something. Uh, it was just white space. Something goofy was happening here. And that was a problem with the template. And I contacted, I, I spoke to Chayton, who's the owner of JoomDev. And he uh, actually had helped me fix that on the template before. And so uh, it was just some extra CSS that was in the design. And we removed it and he updated that template. So Stylo uh, will not have that issue on JoomDev afterwards. 
uh, now. So uh, we're back at uh, checking this out. Now I will notice though that this template is not uh, this template is not uh, uh, the Joom Dev template. So let me just see what's going on here. Let's go blogs totally Tim. Uh, it might be this issue here, which is, is that Advanced Template Manager does not really work with Joom Dev, I don't think. So, what I need to do um, is, let's see here, what do I need to do? Let's just do one thing here. Let's clean the cache. And let's go... And let's just refresh this. I think what I need to do is this next. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to go, go close. And I'm going to, let's see, Requiem Home is assigned to one thing. Let's go to Components, Regular Labs, Extension Manager. And let's go to Advanced Template Manager. All right. Let's go into the component. Oh, there it is there. And over here in the bottom right-hand corner, just above my picture, I'm going to switch to the Core Template Manager. And we'll see that it still is assigned on four pages. So let's just see here. Okay, check, check, check. Let's clean that cache. Hello, Edza. And let's refresh. No, it's still showing uh, that. So I think what I need to do is go to regular uh, is go into the plugin. So here we are, regular labs, advanced template manager. Uh, here's the system plugin. So we'll go and find that in the list. I'm going to uncheck that and clean the cache and let's see if that fixes the assignment something else might be going on here we never know okay now i'm going to re re refresh no let's go blogs totally tim cyber salt shaker no blogs totally tim software was one of them all right, let's go and see. Right out of the gate, we've got something to deal with here. And let's see. Um, uh, let's see here. We'll refresh this. That's going to give an error. Uh, I thought that I turned that off. Maybe I need to turn it off here too. Let's see. Um, regular Labs, Advanced Template Manager system action log oh we don't need to worry about the action log let's just go right into manage and and let's check this out we'll go t-e-m-p-l template and here is regular labs advanced template manager which the plugin is still on oh i thought maybe i unpublished it all right let's turn it off that might help us out with the issue here i forget the reason why it is that um, why there was problems with advanced template manager but again oh boy components let's go to jot cache all right so it's uh huh Let's just go, let's make Stylo the default. Let's go, uh, yeah, let's go into Requiem and just see what the assignments are here. And it's off for the blog entries there. So, oh, you know what? I wonder if maybe it's just the, uh, Oh, maybe that's what the problem is. I use components, sh 404 SEF, SEF URLs. I wonder if there's just so many versions of the search engine friendly URL and it's pointing to an old version. So let's just try that. It's gonna take a little bit for this database to load because it is a huge database. 
Um, it'll be there soon. There we go. And we're going to search for a shaker. Let's see here. Cyber salt shaker. Let's go here. Blogs. Totally Tim. Cyber salt shaker. The URL is cyber salt shaker. All one word uh, with a hyphen. All right. So let's go here. Home. Cyber salt shaker probably going to be the same. Uh, I don't know why I have so many archive views here. There we go. Blogs. Totally Tim. Cyber salt shaker. What's the default page here? Index. Da, 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 da. I wonder. Huh. Let's see. I wonder if it's one of these here. Do do do. Well, we'll just solve this one here off the get go. Blogs. Da, 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 da. What's the alias for this here? Shaker index. Level. Okay. Uh, let's see. I meant templates. Close. Let's make JD Stylo the default for all pages. Clean that cache and refresh. There we go. I am also running a CDN on this. And so I wonder if that is having an impact on it. All right, so I have some formatting to do in this particular article here because of the embed of the video. And uh, yeah, those are things that I can fix. Um, but let's check out the home page and see how it looks on this new template. I've got this bar going across the top. That's what I want. I've got some menu things I want to change the order of. I'm not thrilled with this blue, um, but that seems to work. Let's go to entertainment, clean jokes. That will be a list. All right, and I've got yeah, ads at the top there. Here are the years. Here are the jokes here. That's pretty good. Uh, and a bunch of things. I do have, it is a rather cluttered site, and it's something that I will probably work on once I get this template working better. But um, let's see here. All right, just looking on my other screen at what's happening here. All right, so what are the issues here? Now let's check this out. Let's go to games and bubble shooter. This is a flash game and um, flash is dying this year. So I'm gonna leave this game on here as long as people, uh, as long as flash is still supported a bit, but I know that eventually I'm just going to have to take this off because I have to allow flash for it to work. Uh, but that seems to fit okay in there. That's the way that I had that design. I have a little ad uniquely above that. This page looks all right. Okay, so what else do I have on here? Let's check out my newsletter archive. And, but you know what? Even again, this here is the old template. Very, very weird. I wonder if that's the CDN. Let's try this. Let's go to plugins. Let's leave this back on again now. Let's go to CDN. I'm gonna un I'm gonna disconnect from the CDN just in case things are not refreshing properly. And let's do this. Now, before we went to news, entertainment. Oh, I know why games is still unique because I'd forgotten this. You know, you get doing things on your own sites and you forget things. Uh, plugins. So let's go extensions. I think I, uh, templates. I do have the, um, 
Requiem Home is assigned to a few things. I wonder if it's still assigned to the games. Let's see. Hide unassigned items. Oh yeah, look at that. It's still a, oh, it's still assigned to all these blogs and to games. That's the problem. I've got all these. Uh, all right. Okay. So what do I want? I'm going to say none. I'm going to unassign all these things here. That's why. So I still had, I still had the, um, uh, the old template was still assigned to things. So even making a new default template, that would not, uh, that would not fix that issue was having. And of course, the problem is, is that I probably years ago assigned them manually because I was having a hard time uh, getting menus to dis uh, menu pages that were linked to menus to display properly. So that's an old issue on my site. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got my chat window closed here. So that means I should be able to go to page here, entertainment, games. There we go. Bubble shooter. All right. Well, this is starting to look nicer. Good. And all right. So the ads are there and the game is there and that's good. I'm actually happy with how this is looking right now compared to my old template. So it might be good enough for me to leave active. Um, now one thing here though, let's go to blogs and go to totally Tim. We'll take a look at that. And here's some of my blog entries. Here's a video and I have these all going across wide. So there's no problems with the overlapping. Let's go down to Cyber Salt Shaker. And that works across there. But here's where these videos are acting wonky. Now I just want to make sure in Firefox that this is the same problem because I, I, it might be thrown off because I'm logged into the front end using JD Wollerton admin bar. Uh, so I, let me open up a tab in Firefox over here. And I'll bring this over for us to look and see what it looks like. No, we still have that problem. I think the problem is the code, and these are old, like this is from 2013, the old embed code that I have inside the site here. So why don't we, why don't I just go and explore that? Um, up here, uh, let's see, I cannot see, I can edit the menu item in the JD Wollerton admin bar uh, up here at the top. Um, but let's view this article here in its full page. And now I can go up here and edit the article in the top left using that bar, which is, uh, I really like that bar. It is so great. All right, now I'm gonna view code. And I've, let's see here, I've got the iframe and the width is there. And um, the width is stated that it's 640, all right. So I'm going to take the URL of this. Also, look how old this is. It still has the REL equals O, a zero, which is don't show related videos at the end. That does not work anymore on YouTube. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go here and, oh, look, here we go. Now we have a placeholder here. Oh, that's new. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm going to refresh this page without saving. Notice here, oh no, we get that placeholder and we get this image here. I Is that different? I'm going to close this. Um, let's see here, who who is that? That's Chayton Madan. Ah, uh, uh, 
There you go. Um, I'm just telling them that I'm alive on the channel. Who knows? Maybe it'll pop in. So let's see here. Let's try a different article that was kind of mangled up. Something is right here. Let's see. Okay, let's try this. Lukewarm. And um, now I'm going to edit this article. I'm going to pay attention this time. And there's the video there. What is this? Is this embedding the video or is this? Uh, I do have a plugin from Xly that replaces just with the image to help these load faster. And of course, I have this image down here so that there is a thumbnail. All right, let's see here. I'm going to view the page source. I'm going to grab the embed code for that video. Copy. Go back to here. This is what I'm going to do before. And just at the end, I'm going to experiment to see what happens. I'm going to put some pages down here. And I'm going to just paste that video URL right in JCE Editor. No, HTTPS. Okay, let's try this. No, I want to select it all. Control, copy that. And go Control V. There we go. So when it sees that, it actually is putting in something automatic. Let's check it, take a look at this code. I mean, this is part of what happens when you get working on your own site or other people's sites. It takes a while to figure out. Oh, Chayton is there. Hello, Chayton. Uh, yes, okay. Um, uh, Bjorn says it's JCE editor that inserts that placeholder. That's good. Uh, that's something new, isn't it? Um, but now let's check out this code here. We've got iframe. Du, 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 du. The code is very different here. iframe YouTube embed. That's the same code. I don't have REL equals zero. I don't have the width of 640. I also don't have, I have frame border, left full screen. Then there's allow accelerometer, autoplay, encrypted media, gyroscope, picture and picture. All right, so why don't we, just for fun here, go control copy, and let's put this iframe, this different iframe in here. And we'll take this one, uh, we'll take all this stuff out of the end. Uh, I think it's just, uh, Chayton, I think it's something new that JCE Editor is doing. Just for me to check here, let me just go to extensions and, whoops, extensions and plugins. And let's go to Xtly, E-X-T-L-Y. Xtly. Okay, I'm not using the Xtly YouTube plugin on here, so we'll just stick with the JCE Editor one for now. All right, so let's do this. Um, it's also possible that it's the, this image is throwing off the size back here. But let's see. Let's go here. Let's click back. And here's the problem we're having. This is, uh, this is Stylo, uh, JD Stylo, by the way, Chaitin. Something is not obeying the lines here. All right, so let's check this out. I wonder, let's just take this. Let's go here. Control A, Control A. I'll copy all of this. But then I'm also going to take out that big picture. And, um, all right, so we don't have the picture there. Let's save. And let's refresh.
No, no, no. And so I still have this problem that the uh, video is not auto resizing underneath here. Now it is, it is better, but it's not doing that. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Extensions, plugins open. And let's go to extensions, manage and install. And I'm going to upload from a file. I'm going to go on my computer here. I'm going to go to uh, Juma 3. Uh, Extly, I have it here. And here we go. I'm going to install that. Better method for embedding YouTube videos on your website. All right, so now let's just go extensions manage and update because I think there might be an update for that. Find updates. So I've not run updates for a while. Okay, let's see here. I did actually catch up on quite a bit of work the other day, not as much as I needed to, but I. Uh, I'm slowly getting my ducks in a row and there's some really important projects and important people to me that I'm behind on delivering stuff for. Do, 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 do. It's taking a long time to search for updates. Pop, 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 pop. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Uh, ACY mailing, da, 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 RS Form Pro. Okay, up those the, the, up plugins. Uh, let's go. Search for those. What is the highest one here? System, oh, XT YouTube Optimizer, okay. Let's go in and see what settings we have here. Thumbnail provider, a local dynamic, th YouTube's YT image, yeah. HD thumbnail, yes. Select the play button background, da, 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 da. Very nice, I'm going to enable this. I'm going to assign, okay, da, 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 da. Exclude keywords, I want to do. All right, now let's see what happens with this plugin. We will refresh, oh, I like the, I got the, chat closed here all right and let's go refresh all right so that's gonna solve my problem right there now what that plugin from Xly does is that is even though it shows like I can play here I actually am uh, that's just showing in the thumbnail image and it's being um, embedded in there. Now I still have this crazy, uh, I have some bad borders here. So I need to, uh, I'm gonna need to adjust some things in the CSS. I believe the issue is, is because this is bumped over. So this has a nice overhang. Is that correct, Chaitin? Um, I just don't have any padding on the inside of these articles here. Uh, just just to make things a little bit squished in there nicer but notice this is th and this page loads a lot faster so um, that's great I've solved that and that will solve every single video uh, on my site will now load fa the pages will load faster and I've got a nice little image in there all right well let's do some changing here and let's inspect and we've got, let's see, we're going to look in here. Let's see, here we go. We've got div class 12 and there is some padding on the outside. And then we've got the item inside. So let's see here. We've got media, da, da, da. Do, 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 padding, 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 top zero oh let's see what do we want to put in here um, is it padding left that we want 
Let's try 10 pixels. No, it's not that. All right, it might be margin. Margin left. There's what I wanted. It was margin. I can never remember, so I just type them both in. Oh, although look here, we got this problem. Oh, this is because I'm resizing things here. Let's see. Margin left. Um, hold on for a second here. This is not what I want to change though. I want to change div class, article class, let's see here. Article class, all right, so that's that. So what I actually want to put in, all right, so let's refresh this page here. Article. So let's go um, margin left 10 pixels. All right. The reason that I want to change it here is because the below the name was just for the CSS was just something common to everything, which I might want to change everywhere. Uh, oh, width fit content. All right. Well, let's try that. Width. Fit content. All right, that didn't quite do what we want it to. It did jump everything. Uh, uh, is it fitting? No. Good try though. I wouldn't have thought of that. Let's go with margin left. Let's go margin right. A margin, margin. Margin. Right, 10 pixels. Okay. Uh, how is it for the top? The top is fine, I think. And I think the uh, bottom is probably fine. So let's do that. And that's just for article. So I'm going to click this copy that I'm going to go into the template sorry in, yeah into the template where do I have templates I hear templates JD stylo uh, details I'm gonna go right into the template I'm gonna to go to custom code and I'm going to put this in custom CSS Control V, and I only want to change it for article right now. Actually, let's just change it for everything and see what happens. Now, let's refresh this page. There we go, and I've got some nice margin there still have this overlap here there's a lot of space here in between but that's all right and it fits in nicely here all right i can live with that now i've got the ad here and we've got cyber salt shaker that's jammed in really close so i want a little bit of padding on top of that and this is a this is a actual category description let's check out what an individual article looks like Okay, uh, there's no ads showing up at the top there yet. Let's go entertainment, clean jokes. And let's go to this latest joke. And all right, so oh, bumping in there too. So I do want more space at the top there. And this is, this is super faint, this, uh, there is, oh, there is a line there, but there's actually, there actually is no wrap around there, which is fine. I can live with that for now. All right, so let's, we're going to, uh, 
All right, let's do this here. Let's uh, right click and inspect. Let's inspect right where we're at, right here. All right, div. And then there's that. There's uh, page or page nav. No, 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 no. So item title. Is there anything? Where do we go where we select end up selecting that whole article? There we go. No, I don't want it's oh yeah, sure. Because I want space at the top of the item page. Right? I still want space above this here. Because this disappears. Uh, so let's put this here. That's the component area. Oh, maybe I want space at the top of the component area. Oh, yes, in which case, I know how to do that. Asteroid component. Asteroid, that's the column, component. Oh, okay, so I know that. What I want to do is go into the template. I want to go to the layout. I want to go to this content section. Okay. Because I want to have the content section, I want a bit more space. Because I, um, uh, let's see here. This module here, oh, okay, when I mouse over this position here, I see edit module position content top A. It's actually space between content top A and the component that I want. So I'm gonna to go to the layout. Here's content top A. Here's the component. I'm going to go over and edit this element. I'm going to go to the custom class and I'm going to use Bootstrap 4, which I'm learning, which is padding, P for padding, T, dash and I have an option of zero through five so let's try two okay now we'll go here and refresh and we should see some padding between the add yes there we go that's just a little bit there so now if we go back to the category blog view we'll see that there is a little bit more space there above this ad. So that's great. No, that's so, that, I want more, more. So I'm gonna go back to component area and I'm going to change this to padding top five. Now I'll save that, clear the cache and we'll refresh. Oh, now I've got a really healthy space there. Now, uh, this just came to mind. If I wanted even more space, and even though I think I'm limited in Bootstrap 4 to well, 1 through 5, um, in fact, let me just try that. Let's go back to Component Area, Edit Element. See, let's put padding uh, 8. I think this is going to go back to nothing. Uh, let's see here. Let's refresh. Oh my goodness, it actually did put it. I thought it was limited to five. All right. Well, I don't need that much space. What I was going to say is that if you could only go so big on this, you could always add padding to the bottom of this part here. All right. Well, I, I'll tell you what, uh, this is what got me being ex trying to design and change or trying to change templates and worry more about design on things is that, uh, you know, asteroid framework just makes sense to me and uh just having these controls here to go and do things is great so all right so let's go padding top five i thought was too much let's go for i can always come back and change that and let's go refresh all right now let's see here ah, that's good i like that look how tiny that image is that's an that's an image a long 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 time ago that i put on there boy oh boy oh boy 
Um, all right, so we've got these things here. Now this blue is really not, uh, I'm, I'm really way off on a bunch of my colors on things here. So for instance, down behind my camera, which you cannot see, is, whoops, a daisy, wrong thing, is this to the top. And it's kind of red. And I want it to be my cyber salt orange. I can't remember what my cyber salt orange is, but here's a great way if you ever forget uh, uh, what uh, something is. Uh, I'll turn my camera back on. Turn on your element inspector, inspect, and go somewhere where you know that orange is. And for me, uh, so so if just find something that's colorful. You need to you need to find color. Um, down here in the right hand side, a box to click on. Okay, so even this one that's not active will work. Click on that. Get your um, magnifying glass and go up to. Uh, so this is the orange in my logo. Go up to where the, you're sure the orange is. And then select it, hit enter, and you will see your colors right there. And you can copy that. Uh, in fact, let's just double check. So 255, 153, 0. Let's do this again. 252, 158. Ah, okay. What is my orange? What is my orange? All right, well, let's just go with that. Maybe I better find a bigger version of my template. Where is it? I want to have it consistent. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go right onto my site here. I'm just going to go right to my logo right away. And I'm just going to find it once and uh, it won't be once and for all because I should have this memorized. But let's go to Cybersalt, logo graphics. Here's my orange that I use in my new one uh da, 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 open up oh i want to open up a paint shop pro file here we go visit from the lady in the chair that looks like it's being suspended by ideas ideas all right i'm going to use the thumbnail i'm going to use the eyedropper here and I'm going to select that FE 9900 I should be able to remember that FE 9900 all right that's the hex good so that means I can go into uh, the asteroid template here let's go to colors this, this particular one does not have theme in it, which is really nice in some of the newer Asteroid templates because you can just go and set a theme. But look, here's Link Hover Color. Everywhere it's red right now, right? I don't want that. All right, so uh, logo text color. Okay, and yeah, some of the other Asteroid templates have... Uh, theme you can just go and you can select what you want to be the primary color or secondary or you can actually I could change all the reds to that uh, now when someone hovers over a link link active colors are a oh, link color in the main menu is white and right now when someone hovers over it it goes yellow you know I can live with that yellow I think in fact it might be a yellow from no, I don't have a yellow in that logo, but I do have a yellow that goes with that. Uh, in fact, let's do this. Let's go to let's go to a color wheel, color wheel, and uh, let's go to. I'm gonna put the hex. Let's go to this one. They all work the same. I'm gonna put my the uh, hex. Um, in here, hold on for just a sec. I have to change something here uh, to, 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 because uh, I need to clear my clipboard so I don't show it publicly here. 
All right. Here we are. We're back. Okay. Hashtag FF. So FE9900. Oh, oh, this is actually kind of nice. Now, I want to find a yellow that goes with that. So let's go with the triadic. No, I, well, it could be one of these colors. No, no. Okay, there's the yellow there. Uh, orange and the red in that. Okay, so an analogous. So E, click the copy. Hey, this is really nice. Uh, way to go, canva.com. To see uh, test things out. All right, so I copied this, and I'm also going to click and copy this in here again because I cleared my cache. Uh, now we're going to go back to uh, here, and in here I'm going to go Windows V, and I'm going to put in the yellow and the link active color. Looks like it's a Let's see, link hover cover yellow. All right, so, and we will put the yellow in there. All right, link active color. I think up here we have, oh, that link active color. Oh, I've got a black, man, that's that's boring. Uh, but this is for the drop down menu. What does this look like? Oh yeah, let's leave it black for now. All right, I like to work, I, I get lost in things. So up here, the link hover color we've got is yellow. So here's a hink lover, a, a link <laughs> hover cover, which is that great. The link active color in the drop down will show as yellow i'm not worried about that for now off canvas text color link active uh let's keep that we'll see i think here i'm going to put the orange and that's all my colors right there that i can change right now but i do also have miscellaneous down at the bottom here which is Oh I, oh, I don't have my favicon picked in here either. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do that in a second. Uh, I want... Oh, no, that's just not my address. So let's take that out. Is that actually in the top here? No, I don't have that showing yet. Uh, take out this default information. Okay. Okay, and then... There's somewhere that, um, let me just save this. There is somewhere that I, where I can change the to the top, the color of the to the top button. Uh, let's see where that is. Oh, here we go. In the basic, the preloader, we'll go with the black preloader color. Let's make it my orange. Control, oh, sorry, that's a Windows V. Okay, that's good. Oh, here we go, back to the top. I want that to be orange as well. Control V. Yes. Now, I wonder somehow, when I click on here, is this the same orange? No. No. This is just giving me the, I thought this might be recent things that I'd picked, but that's all right. Uh, FE9900. I should type this out more, uh, FE9900. I should type this out more often, and then I'll remember that. FE9900. All right, so now, Let's refresh this, see what we've got happening here. All right, home, blogs, goes yellow and mouse over, I, yeah, good. Inspiration, news, okay, great. Now, this blue does not fit in with my brand, uh, but we do have a nice blue over here. Well, I do have a blue in my logo. So let's go here. 
Oh, I have all kinds of blues in my logo. I can pretty much go with anything. All right, let's see Canva. Let's see. All right, is there blue that comes up? No. A purple. Okay, there's a blue. Uh, uh, let's just try that. Let's copy that. And now... Is there somewhere in here that does uh, the read more in colors? Probably not. I don't think I've ever seen that. No, it's not there. So well, let's just change it this way. I'm going to go right click and inspect. And here's my button primary color, background color. So let's do the background color. Hold on for a second. I have to just look out my window one second here. All right. I got a guy that's working on property next door and he was going to take down some hedges for me next week, but I just heard him bring his excavator up. I just want to make sure he wasn't doing it now. All right. So let's put that blue in there that's better instead of uh, I think that goes better with the orange yes I like that better all right background color and this has a border color um, and the border oh let's just do that the border color is I don't even, it doesn't look like it's very wide. Oh, it's one saw, so, it's solid. The button has a, it's a solid one pixel color. I can live with that. So let's see, I changed the background color of the primary button. Great. Uh, oh, dot read more. Dot read more, diff class dot read more. Okay, I got you. <clears throat> Thanks. Um, yeah, dot read more. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. What I'm going to do though is I'll just change it for all the buttons. But you're right, the div class dot read more is there. I'm going to change it for all the buttons though using that code. So let's go here custom code CSS. And I only changed the background color. The blue is fine. So we'll take this here. But yes, I could go dot read more. Dot read more. Just to use your example there, Bjorn. And I'll put a left bracket and then we'll go uh, back around color. I'm just going to say red. I think that's all I need to do there, right? So let's see, this is last, so that should take precedence. If I refresh, it will go Oh, red. Oh, and it did read more all the way across. Cool. Good to know. Excellent. All right, read more goes right across in this template. But I'm going to stick with the blue that I've got there. So let's take this here. All right. Read more shows up at the end. Okay. So save, clear cache. Yeah. Well, and this is the primary for the button. Now, there might be other buttons that are um, named different that will come up. But let's see. Well, we'll, anyways, we'll see. All right, so now, what have we got here? We've got a nice blue. Oh, okay, this is looking good. Now, one of the things I noticed earlier, I'm not super thrilled with this header up here, uh, but I'll change that, but is uh, now when we mouse over, get the, the orange, that's good. Um, but uh, these drop downs are not doing it for me. 
and that is something I want to change. They're just kind of jammed together, not wide enough. Yeah, I think you're right, Bjorn. Button will work for all the buttons. Line height and boldness, yes. Now, what I can do is to change the, uh, Chuck, to change the menu fonts here. Oh, look at that, that yellow on the, oh yeah, that yellow is no good on the mouse over for that link. All right, so a couple of things that we can do to fix things here. First of all, all right, uh, line, let's go to typography. And we have the drop down typography here. So I can drop the weight down just a little bit. Let's just try 500. No, that might, let's just try 600. See if that makes it. Oh, that's still pretty heavy. Let's go 500. Line height. I could make it to 0.2 uh, and increase that there. And I'm using rems. Could also transform text here, but let's just let's just save that. Oh, and also let's go to colors. Because uh, we've got main menu, link hover color, that's good. But on the drop down, let's go with the orange, which is uh, FE9900. All right. All right. Now, okay. Yeah, now we've got it spread out a bit more. And when I mouse over, it goes kind of orange. That's all right. Uh, I'll work with that for now. Yes, that is better. In fact, you know, the other thing that I could do is is this. That might make it even easier to see that when for people to see that they're clicking. Yes, I'm going to widen the column next. Good eye check. Or as they say uh, in Canada... Well, that's what they, that's how they say hello in uh, New Zealand. Good eye. Um, uh, which reminds me of a story of a chaplain that I knew once that uh, 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 told me this story. Uh, he had been working in a hospital. He had a New Zealand accent or the, the chaplain in question had the New Zealand accent. And a woman who had been in the psychiatric ward um, uh, had res had responded well to treatment. She was being released. And um, on the day that uh, he found out that she was being released. And so he, when he saw her, he says, oh, I hear you're going home to die. <laughs> she thought he had said, I hear you're going home to die. As in, and that they weren't telling her that she was really sick and that she was terminal and she ended up uh, relapsing. So anyways, um, good eye, as in you have a good eye for widening things there. Let's just try one other thing. Just check this look here. Uh, the If we go to the hover link and make it white, and the background, we make uh, FE9900 and save and clear that cache and reload now when i go over in the drop down and slide down oh i actually i like that better because that gives more of an idea that you're actually clicking okay i'm gonna go with that all right now you mentioned the width yes so we've got the uh width here for blogs but entertainment needs to be wider these uh, the blogs is fine i've already done it entertainment Yes, and do I have those? That's a good point. I like them to be smaller too. Um, yes, I'm going, uh, Ivor, I'm going to use the asteroid menu options. So, um, what are our fonts here? Let's just check that. Let's check that look. That's, we've got the drop down menu. Oh, so let's go typography. And this is another thing that I love about asteroids. It's just so easy to change, to find these things and change them. So the menu is 1.2. Oh yeah, and the drop down is let's make it one. Let's see how that works. I'm really happy I'm getting this stuff done on my site. All right, so blogs. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a good 
good suggestion, Chuck. And uh, look, we even get to we even get the orange box over here. All right, now so what Ivor asked, and yes, uh, the mega menu. So let's so I can close this article now. And let's go to menu and main menu. And the first one we'll look at, I've already done blogs. So let's go to blogs, which is articles category list. And here we have the asteroid menu options. And all I, now I've not done mega menu yet. All I did over here was put 350 pixels width and the drop down alignment is right. What have we got here? We've got right, left, center, container, and full. I think right now I can live with that going across like that. If I change the size of this page here, whoops, to there. Oh, so that's not great because if the window's like this, I can't see off to the side there. So we're going to have to fiddle around with that for a second. Right. Uh, I don't, is it container that I want here? Let's see. Save and close. Oh, no, it's not contain. Well, I don't think it's container. Let's do this one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's. Ends up way the heck over there. Those all work nice. That's kind of nice. But blogs ends up way over there. Oh, that's because that's the only one I changed. Why is entertainment nice down there? Entertainment works. Well, maybe we better check out. Um, let's see. And I'm gonna I'm gonna search. I only want to see maximum levels of one. Let's just see what entertainment is doing here. Entertainment, I have width. Right, okay. Uh, Bjorn says try left. Okay, let's go to blogs. And let's go to asteroid. And let's go to left. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Now, these are skinny. No worries. Now, this is where we go into menu. It defaulted, blogs defaulted to, uh, it went to 280. And I think what I had before was 350. So let's go save and refresh. Blogs. Yeah, that's nice. Now, these other ones need to be wider as well. But I might like to go with a mega menu here as well. Uh, for instance, in entertainment. So that, anyway, so let's, all right, let's go through and set entertainment to 350 and left. Three fifty and left. Okay. Yeah, the mega menu yeah, the mega menu is nice, but it isn't always that easy. One of the things that's just tricky about the mega menu is that you have to manually put things in there. So for instance, here, well, I guess you have to manually make the menu item here. Uh, what, what I'm saying is this, is that when you make a menu item and you set it to be the child of another menu or a drop down, it automatically appears there. But if you're, you, if you're making it a child of a mega menu, you actually have to physically add it. But the system is a lot easier. So let, uh, uh, let's try mega menu here in entertainment. Entertainment. 
And now we're going to go with a mega menu. And here we go. Configure and customize mega menu for your website with modules. You can add rows, columns, and more to the mega menu. Because if I do this, Oh, and the width jumped up to 980 somehow. Let's refresh. Yeah, I just get this mouse over here. That's all I get because I have no rows there. There's so nothing dropping down. So let's go back. I might want to change the title, the color of these titles here too. Uh, but anyway, so we'll go back here. So let's add a row. And now let's make it a menu, mega menu that's 50-50. Now, I just have to remember this, uh, what my categories are. And uh, in order to remember that, I'm going to go here. All right. In entertainment, I have cartoons, clean jokes, clean puns, fun blog, funny pictures, games. All right, let's see how this works here. Um, we'll add. Okay, oh, add submenus. Okay, here we go, modules and submenus. Okay, we're gonna add cartoons. Well, here they all are here. Oh, that's handy. Okay, I thought I had to go and find these, but actually they're listed because they're already listed according to what's in here. Oh, that's not so bad. So let's put cartoons, clean jokes, whoops, um, over here, clean puns, fun blog, whoops, 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 whoops. funny pictures, Games, one liners, pearly gate strokes, daily cartoon, random jokes, cyber salt digest archive, your turn to be funny. All right, 980 might be too wide here, but we'll see. Chuck says, you like the mega menus and always say, one of the other page builders doesn't have that feature. Yes, I know. So when I discuss, well, when when I asked how to do this and Chayton said, oh, just go go use the uh, mega menu option. I was like, what, what, what the what? Uh, so let's save this and reply. Reply, reload. And now we mouse over entertainment. Okay, now we've got that. Now it's going way off to the left and it's too wide. Drop down alignment. Okay, left, according to Bjorn's tip there. That's great. And let's make it 980. Let's make it 500. You know what? Chuck says 600 or 640. All right, I'm going to go 600. It's like a Bandersnatch on. Netflix where you can you get to choose different options in the story all right so now let's refresh cash is cleaned oh yeah that's nice now that's not so great that back pew loads over that but you know what I can live with that for now funny pictures there you go so this might work well without now I could always just move these ones with other things down to the left hand side. And these are not exactly alphabetical in order. Yeah, and you like to add a picture. Okay. I know that we can, uh, I know that you can add uh, an icon. Well, let's see if we can do that. We can oh okay now if I switch icon only there hmm good 
okay. So if I switch icon only there, I'm going to end up with nothing here because that's icon only for this. So I did not want to do that. But let's select an icon here. I wonder if we get this LAU laugh. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've got a, uh, and this is for entertainment. Let's put this icon in there. Save and refresh. Ah, oh, we got smiley face there. Great. Now, if I want icons here, I wonder. All right. So let's just close this for now. And that's okay. I'm viewing one level here, so I'm going to clear the level from just one. And I want to see entertainment. So let's go to let's we'll just try for cartoons. We'll go into cartoons. We'll go to uh, asteroid menu options. Let's select an icon. Uh, let's see to a car cartoon. No, that's a uh, pencil. Yeah, pencil. Let's go save. Now let's refresh. Oh, look at that. And the pencil shows up there. That is so great. Oh, I like that. All right. So, wow. This is starting to look good. <laughs> All right, so now, okay, so we've got entertainment, inspiration, and uh, news. I want let's just have these consistent widths with, yeah, and this is too big here. All right, so let's come up with a, uh, although this one has, this one's going to be long. So let's go to, um, next let's go to inspiration. Do, 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 do. inspiration whoops okay let's let's filter here i n s p there we go inspiration asteroid menu options and let's go what let 350 pixels let's select it to the left let's save Oh yeah, that's good. Now th this looks a little. Uh, I kind of, kind of losing that font as it overlaps the um, text here. So I might have to do something about that. I might have to make this box a little bit more pronounced. But uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's okay. Went with. Doesn't even need. That's uh, still pretty wide. But I can live with that. That's good. That's super wide. What did we do blogs at? Uh, let's do blogs. I think we have at 350. Let's just try 300. That's a little bit better. So let's let's go. Let's just switch these to 300. So again, I'm going to clear the search here. I'm going to filter max levels one. And so now blogs we did 300. Entertainment is the mega menu. Inspiration, we will do. Man, uh, sorry, Astro menu. I would do 300. And then inspiration, I'll do news, um, menu option, uh, control V, let's do this, zero, control A, control copy. So 300 pixels for news. 
news support save and close good how are we looking so far new support faq section newsletters now newsletters is getting far over to the side of the page and search so what i we pro oh and you know what um These are left. I don't think those are left. All right, let's just look at the last two. Uh, newsletters and search. Newsletters is a separator. Newsletter. And it's still aligned to the right. I think probably getting to that side of the menu, that's okay. And, uh, oh, new template we don't need on there. In fact, I don't even need that anymore because I'm happy with this template enough to get rid of that page there. Uh, search. We will go asteroid, control A, control B. We'll save. Now, we'll refresh. Home, vlog, good, like that. Good. That's quite a jump to the left there. So is that. Now these two on the far right, I don't mind them being aligned to the right because that's going to keep them from getting out of this when they pop when they pop up appearing outside the page here. So I'll leave that right and right. But support. I think I kind of like, well, maybe we will. Oh, maybe it should be centered. Oh, well, we haven't tried that. Ah, let's try that. Uh, support. Mm hmm. Center. Do, 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 do support. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Right underneath. That's a good. So over here, that works out well for these to be left. Like that. News. That's, uh, that's a short one, too. So maybe I'll do news and support center. And then newsletters. We'll leave right. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's, I can live with that. Uh news uh, I bet you there's probably a special class that I can put in there to do something or some way to do that but uh, let's put let's make news center as well because it's so short oh I'll make search 260 of course that's a great suggestion um, okay so uh, make uh, so news I'm going to put uh, we're gonna make that centered and search we will make yeah of course that's a great idea uh let's make it 260 save and refresh yeah that's good in fact i could probably sneak that one just a little bit less I might not even need this anymore because I used to have like search using Google. Google used to have it so that um, you you got money for searching and uh, through Google AdSense. And so there's a code in here that if people use this for doing search, I would get a little bit of money. But they got rid of that. And so this is actually a super old page. And then uh, search cyber salt. Let's see this here. What does that do? Oh, and it's broken to something else. All right. So even though your suggestion was spot on for search, let's do this here. Um, menu search. I want we try this. Uh, Two hundred is probably too skinny. Let's try. Uh, 210 for just a different number. Um, 
I'm gonna go home search yeah that's nice there that's that's a good way to do that but I'm just gonna turn that off because uh, all, all, although you know let's see search cyber salt it might still link no search using Google let's just uh, see uh, funny cats funny cat pictures oh yeah that's broken <laughs> okay all right so Chuck your suggestion was great um, but both of those things are broken so what I'm going to do is uh, go to this one here and I'm going to uh, unpublish it just for now which is good because now that's one uh, have I thought about putting search as inline? I don't quite know what you mean by that, but I do need to have a better search thing going here. You're right. And oh, look at this. This read more button is blue. Huh. Oh, a search module in the drop down menu. Yes. That would that would be cool. Um, yeah, let's do that. First of all, let's just figure out what I have missed for the button background. Did I actually switch it back to uh, what was the blue that we wanted? Zero zero. Oh, no, it is blue. <laughs> Sorry. It is blue. It's just a diff. It's not the uh, wonky blue. All right, I forgot. All right, so what do we got here for modules? Let's go to extensions modules. The hamburger menu for the phone is not working. Okay, we will check that out then. Um, let's let's look for a, a module called search. JD search. This module allows users to search for Joom donation campaigns. All right, so that's not what's in there. Let's do this. Let's do a new module, which would be search. I really like to go with that allogeal or whatever that new search is where as you type it auto fills in. But uh, let's just try this here. I'm not even going to bother making it a module position. Uh, we'll go search for the box text. We'll use a search button. Oh, open auto search. Okay. Button, visit search button, button. Uh, let's have the two. Oh, we'll just see what happens here. Button text, yes. Select the menu ID. Okay, so let's do that. And now we'll go back to menus. We'll go to search. And we will make this um, an asteroid menu option. We'll do a mega menu, one row. We'll add a module. Which will be, now we need a filter in here. I don't know if Chayton's still watching, but we need a filter in here. So I can filter through the modules that are here. And also I can filter through what's published and not published. Uh, it's probably at the bottom though because this looks like it's in order of ID. Search. Uh, let's see what happens here. All right. Oh, then did I publish this? No, I did not. Published. Okay. We go over here. We mouse over search. There's the search bar. Funny. 
That's the goal. Uh, cat pictures. Cat pictures. Oh, now it went to this URL search, which I think is an SH404SEF thing in here. So let's just go here and search for all the URLs that have the word search in them. Here's advanced search. Mm -hmm. Search Cybersalt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will leave these other ones. Search, search. Let's delete those with duplicates and clean the cache. And search cat pictures. All right, so that's. This is something weird going on inside just my site. Because it's getting is returning to cybersalt this forward slash search. Oh my goodness. So that's pretty that's pretty niche. Do I have other pages at the bottom that I'm missing? No. Forward slash search. And the URL it's going to is search, search phrase. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure that one out. I'll figure that out another time. For now, uh, that's a good idea to put the search box in a module there. I like that. For now, let's unpublish the search menu. Now, let's take this. It's lunchtime, so we better check out the hamburger the missing hamburger the Ivor has mentioned whoops let's go back here okay oh and you know what I might actually have an HT access rule that's redirecting that here ah uh, I might yeah that might be the issue there too okay uh, man you should see the HT access file for this site too yeah, I think if I unpublish the Google search, it's still going to be gone. But that's, yeah, that's, we can try that. Menu close. In fact, that's just, we can just delete it. Uh, we go clear. Uh, we can uh, look for Google, G O G. Search using Google. And we're just going to trash that. It's gone. And it was, un oh, it was unpublished too. So let's clear that. Let's look at the very end. We got search component. Oh, component com search advanced does not exist. We'll delete that as well because we don't need it. Um, but all that really was happening is we mouse over that and it opens up the module position. All right, so, whoops, I did click new. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, maybe we'll look, I'll show you the HD access file in a little bit. Actually, we, uh, okay, let's look at that just now quickly, uh, since we're talking about it, because I'm going to come back to it. So let me chat on the right ear and let me open up my C panel here. So, um, uh, I hope you couldn't guess my password from hearing that clicking on the keyboard there. So, all right, list accounts. Uh, let's go to cybersalt.org. That's where we want to be. All uh, right. <laughs> I'm, I should maybe be embarrassed by this or not. Uh, but to show this to you. But here we are. Let's go into File Manager. Cybersalt is in public HTML. 
and I'm going to go edit. Now, I'll give you a quick scroll through this HT access. It is like, how many lines is it? 1035. So there's one thing here that confuses me a bit is, and this is, has to do with my Let's Encrypt free SSL service. Uh, for every rewrite condition, for a lot of rewrite conditions here, um, it goes through the whole Acme challenge thing. So I think that might be a mistake. All right. And I've never bothered cleaning this up because it works. But basically why I have such a long HT access thing is remember I said earlier that this is, this started out in 98 as a HTML site. So I have something here. So for instance, um, um, Hmm. All right. So this rewrite URL here, I wonder if I can make it bigger. Yeah, I can. All right. So, whoa, this rewrite URL and I'll make it an, I'll put it on its own line here. Basically it says any URL that's whatever it starts with. If it has God's penman forward slash, and then a number rewrite it to index.php com content view article id equals two so basically i used to have the the layout in a previous version of joomla the url said god's penman forward slash and then there was the article id or there was some number that that was not it was sort of sef but it wasn't so i was still getting traffic to those old numbers when i got rid of the structure of SEF for that. So I created a rewrite rule that said any anything that's come any call to God's the God's penman folder that has a number right after the slash just send it to this generic page because I just didn't want to lose that traffic. And of course here we've got string one which is this uh sort of wild card or any uh, that's the first anything before God's penman and then a number and anything after write the first anything which is the domain index.php option da, 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 and then the second anything so basically if I go to cybersalt.org forward slash and then paste in the um, index da, 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 I have to take out I have, oh, actually, and then the, the article ID here, I'll just show you. This redirects the exact article. So anything with that's God's penman. So the URL forward slash God's penman and the article ID, which is what the number was. And then anything else, strip that off. So we've got one, two, three. Rewrite what's first, which is the URL, like the, the TLD, cybersalt.org. Then this not SH404 SEF safe, not this non SEF uh, search engine in front of the URL, that part, and then bring up the article which corresponds to what the number was before because the article at the beginning of the the number at the beginning of the title was always the article number so i just used this uh, normal joomla url or part of a joomla url and i called for id the article id by number and what would happen is this in sh404 sef it would see that and it would look and then it would redirect it properly to this to the proper address without the number in it and so consequently, you just see, I have tons of things like this. Um, here's a rewrite rule. Funny pictures, uh, anything that had started out with funny pictures, page, and then a number and something, rewrite it, entertainment funny pictures page. Because instead of having funny pictures, I made funny pictures a subdirectory of entertainment. And so I want it to rewrite all I, I wanted to direct all that traffic to the new URL and of course the R equals 301 is basically saying tell them this is a permanent change and update your records so I end up with a ton of crazy stuff like this now let's go control zero 
to make that the right size. Oh, that's tiny. Wow. Um, and now I'm going to just refresh this site, this page, because I made some changes there. Let's search for the word search. It's our search. No, search is not in here anywhere. All right, so it's not an HT access thing creating that problem. So it's probably something in SH404 SEF, um, which could be, all right, let's try this. Uh, could be an alias. If I click on alias, and let's search for search. Oh, no, no, I've got an alias for redirecting. These have search in their names, but it's not an alias that I've done in there either. So we'll have to revisit that. I'll have to revisit that. At the rate, you know, I want to work on this site on live streams, apparently. So um, we may end up working on that. All right, so here we are. Let's look for the hamburger F5. I'm oh, sorry, F12 for Element Inspector. And now I'm going to click this button here and preview. Now I've got that hamburger there. Let's refresh. No. Okay, so that is there. Oh, no, Chuck. Well, that's very kind of you to say, Chuck. Um, yes, thank you. All right, so we've got the hamburger here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Yeah, I clicked on it, but this is not going to, this is because I'm logged in. So I'm going to have to go to, in fact, let me, I'll show you something new here. Let's go to. Uh, phone screen. There we go. I'm going to connect my phone to see if this will show up on the screen here. It doesn't always do this right away. Let's see here. Start now. And let's go to, uh, all right, I think it's going to come up, cybersalt.org. All right. Okay, so here's the page. Yeah. On my phone. Oh, no. I don't think I can actually, all right, so let's hit the hamburger. Yes, sirree, I see what you mean there. So, what is happening on the hamburger? All right, let's close this here. I'm going to have to go to uh, here, go home. So let's do this in Firefox because I'm logged in F12. And uh, go here. I don't want the hamburger just up there in its own line anyways, too. So obviously I'm going to have to fix that somehow. Uh, but I click that. Now we can inspect. There's some kind of box there. Hmm. I don't know Firefox is well enough. So let's do this. New incognito window. Uh, Cybersalt.org. F12 for element inspector. Click the menu. Now we can go and we can inspect asteroid content asteroid content okay here's what we've got here asteroid content after there's a background color here um
Okay, so look at this. I see this body dot asteroid off canvas opened in the code here. Opacity one. If I click that, okay. Height width. All right, so it has something to do with the asteroid off canvas opened. Okay. So I can make that disappear, but I'm still not able to, I'm not getting any menu. So that's, that gives us a clue what to look at. Okay. And Chuck, you think it's a responsive thing with mega menus. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, oh, and look, it's still wide here. So let's go into the back here. Let's go to header. Um, off canvas menu, enable or disable to show the off canvas menu. So I have that off. For, yeah, I wish there were settings for mobile mega menu. Yes. Um, Oh, look at this mobile menu. I have none selected. That might make a difference. Let's select main menu too. All right. Now, let's go back to my, whoops, that's not it. Let's go back to, man, I got a lot of tabs open. Let's go back to here. And oh, it's going to connect again. All right, this is uh, okay. So now, if I drag down and reload, all right, it looks the same. Ah, there you go. So, oh, here's what, so there's what was happening. We were getting a fade in the back so that you could see the menu here. Okay. So now we can go down and we can click entertainment. This is our mega menu. Oh, and we get things here. Okay. And we also can click there. So now we can click back. Okay. Now, a couple of things I see. This orange is kind of hard to see for clicking back. Great. All right. Well, now we can go back to here. Um, I just saw this, uh, 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 um, a picture of the when I was going through here we have a picture of uh, my friend Fred Schmidt this guy he's 85 years old and um, he came by the other house to drop off something uh, the other day to drop something off uh, his wife passed away just over a year ago and uh, he went out and bought a brand new Volkswagen uh, a few months after she passed away and he was buying it and I don't have uh, all right, something something goofy happened on my computer there. So I think that I am back. Yeah, we had a bunch of skip frames, so it looks like it's flowing smoothly again on my computer. Let me just double check. I won't no more side trips. Um I have it paused anywhere. All right. So uh let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, so it's good. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Bjorn. Um, so if we go here, home, re refresh, we'll go F12, and we will go. And open up the menu. Blogs. Now I want to change that little Chevron up there. So I'm going to inspect element, class A, B item, area has pop up true. And yeah, mouse over here down the left side till I get, to, that's the thing, LI class menu pop up, A, B class is not that, area has pop up target true. 
media, where do we have where do we have that little color there to change? Here's color WP admin bar. I don't see anything orange here. Huh. Line height to 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 none box. Okay. Ah, uh, color. Okay, so that is. Oh, that again. We're running into problems with this bar overlapping here. Um, but that is. Oh, that's not the icon. That has to do with the admin bar. Okay. I'm throwing up. Maybe I better try this in Firefox. Click this. I'm going to have to do something about that menu bar too. It's in the Asteroid template file. Okay. Blogs. There we go. There's the orange. Hello, Lucian. Good to see you. Oh, well, that's a little reminder on my phone that I'm I have to go to a meeting with the Chamber of Commerce in 10 minutes. Okay. Yes, it's good to see. Oh, well, it's, it's good to see you in chat. I can't see you, of course. Um, span class indicator. Here we go. There we go. I class FAS FA angle left. Right here. There we go. So if I want that to be black, I can do this. All right, here's the CSS here, way down at the bottom. Uh, it's menu.open, menu go back dot fast. All right, I'm gonna select that. And I'm going to copy it. Excellent. All right. Um, Then I'm going to go here and uh, oh yeah so I need to close this I need to go into here go into custom code add that CSS color RGB that's good I'm going to save that so that means now if we go back to my phone And we, all right, and I'm going to reload the page. And blogs. Uh oh. Ah, oh, well. Did I not clear the cache? Let's just check that out. Uh, clear, clean cache. All right, so let's go back to my phone again. We'll try this here. We'll drag down. Okay. Whoa, yeah, I'm sorry, I turned my phone sideways. Um, uh, okay, there's that. Ah, now it's black. Excellent, that's much better. I like that. You know what, I think I've reached the point, especially I mentioned I've got to get going to a little meeting here. Um, yes, thanks, Lucien. Yeah, this Lucien, this is Asteroid Framework that I'm using uh, from JoomDev, it's, and I really like it. But you know what? I think I'm at the point now where I am happy enough with this template 
where I everything else everything seems to be performing well. And one of my rules of uh, updating things is if you've got something that you want to update, and then the thing you're working on to replace it with is reaches the point where it's better than what you had, then you might as well switch and just keep working. Yeah, Chayton have done a really great job with this. I agree with I agree with you, Chuck. Uh, so I'm really happy with this, the way this is right now. This template. I don't need the other template on here anymore, because that's really this is just pretty much text and and content. Uh, there's nothing special else happening. So to celebrate, I'm going to and nothing personal against the uh, previous um, uh, template that I was using. I'm going to celebrate by removing it. So you can go to manage and that template is extensions manage templates. That template is named Requiem. I don't have it assigned to anything. Yes, woohoo, one of those happy moments. So I'm going to uh, search for RE Requiem. And there it is right there, Requiem. It's, uh, and look, it's from 2017. I haven't updated this in a while either. So, but anyways, I'm going to uninstall that. Hey, you're very welcome, Bjorn. And thank you everybody for hanging out with me today and helping with that too. And for your great suggestions. Now, Requiem is a gantry template. So I'm going to search for gantry in the management here, in the manage, um, extensions manager and I'm going to un uninstall it probably should back this up before I start doing stuff like this uh, but it is uninstalled and now I'm super happy about that all right so let's get this started here I'm going to go components Akiba backup and I'm going to make a full backup of the site right now as it is and I'll back that up now. I'm going to have to leave that running. Oh, and what is this? Install it. Oh, it's only backing up the database. Okay, I'll do a full backup after I do the database. Uh, anyways, I will leave you guys at that. Oh, what music is playing at the end of my stream? Good question. Um, it is something I got from... I think I downloaded it from YouTube. I will look into it because uh, I think it might be the YouTube one uh, because I just didn't want to get blocked for having it on there. Either that or it's something that I, a royalty free site that I, uh, it's a file that I had. Uh, but I'll double check into that and, and, uh, and we'll, and see that. I would look for it right now, but I really think. Let me just double check here. Calendar. What's the, da, 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 da. no, I've got that Chamber of Commerce meeting now. So I will look into it. Uh, Chuck, music or Chuck. All right, so everybody, uh, I believe my time in the, uh, check out the Joomla and beyond 24 hour virtual conference happening on Saturday. Uh, there's going to be lots of great speakers, I guess. Uh, and then there's also going to be me. And I believe my session is at 1700 UTC, which is 10 in the morning West Coast time for me. And uh, which will be um, 1 p.m. on the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time. So that's for Chuck. And we will, uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about how to help people who need help with Joomla. And uh, it sounds kind of straightforward, but I got a few twists in there. Uh, but everybody, this has been super fun, super profitable for me. And I and uh, it was I always enjoy hanging out together and, and doing this stuff. So, and we didn't even get a weird link from Ivor today uh, because we were so busy. But anyways, thanks again for your help. Thanks for this time. Um, Maybe on Saturday, probably not on my channel. It'll be wherever it is. You, you'll you'll find it. I'll I'll share it on the 
Facebook and that. Um, anyways, until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.